Hey guys, Matthew here. In this video, I just want to draw your attention to File, Save, and File, Export. Export selected and File Import. Um, this is not going to be an overly interesting video from my perspective, but if I click Save, um, I have the capacity to save it anywhere. Not overly exciting, but, but I can save it as a whole bunch of different things. So, I just want to go through a few file formats that you might want to know. So, Rhino 5, Rhino 4, Rhino 3, Rhino 2. So, Rhino has backwards compatibility, which is actually quite a rare property of many software. Uh, .3ds, um, fairly sure that's 3ds Studio Max, I might be wrong because I'm fairly sure that Max is .max. .sat is a, like a kind of way to get it to begin to talk to a software called Revit. AI exports it to Adobe Illustrator. .dwg will export it as a .dwg, which is the file read by AutoCAD. .dxf is also another file read by AutoCAD. Uh, DAE, never had to use it. Cult 3D, okay, that's kind of a scary name. DirectX, uh, that's something to do with gaming, so I doubt you would ever export it as that. EMF, nah, nah, nah. Google Earth, okay, good luck. No, IGS is good for exporting NURBS. And Rhino is fundamentally a NURBS uh, modeler. So if you need to get NURBS from one uh, file to another, you'll, you'll use that. So we'll get into what a NURB is in the second module, but for now, you may just need to remember .IGS. Lightwave, uh, no idea. Moray, no idea. Motion Builder is something to do with animation, and it's an Autodesk product that begins to plug into like 3ds Max and Autodesk Maya. .obj is fundamentally the most basic and most widely used mesh exporter. And we'll get into what a mesh is in detail in the second module as well. Uh, .csv will export object properties as a, as a comma-separated comma value file, which is an Excel sheet. Why you would want to do that, no idea. Uh, Parasolid, I've never heard of. PDF is more like a printing kind of thing. Not sure why you would actually want to save a file as a PDF from here. .ply, you'll never use. .txt, it's very rare to use that unless you're beginning to, getting in, you're beginning to get into coding. Uh, point of view ray, no idea what that is. Raw triangles as a .raw file, no idea. Renderman is the renderer run by um, uh, Pixar. So Pixar has their own rendering engine, it's called Renderman, so you can export into that. Uh, SketchUp, uh, if you use SketchUp at some point, I assume that you will be dead to me. Uh, .step is, um, I've never heard of it. .stl is the file used for 3D printing. .vda, never heard of it or used it. 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 And I've never heard of any of these other things. But Z Corp is a 3D printing company. So I'm assuming that .zpr uh, is a 3D printing format. Um, so that's all of them. So you don't really need to remember any of them. But the point is, it's like it's got a whole bunch of them. So the ones that you really need to pay attention to is uh, .ai if you're doing graphic design work. Your drawings shouldn't ever enter uh, Adobe Illustrator unless you're doing something a little bit wrong. Um, like a technical drawing should never enter Adobe Illustrator. So for example, the assignment we're asking you to do in uh, comms uh, should not enter Adobe Illustrator. But if you're beginning to try and create a graphic and you decided that it's far easier to draw the stuff in Rhino to then import into Adobe Illustrator, then that's when you would use it, uh, not for an architectural drawing. Um, IGS for moving NURBS around different software and .obj, moving meshes around different software. And that's pretty much all the ones you need to know um, fundamentally. Uh, second to that, there's the .sat, the ACIS file, which is useful for getting things to and from Revit. And uh, that's about it. And STL, sorry, which is for 3D printing, which we're not going to get into here. But they're all the files you need to know. Cool. All right. See you in the next video.